I went to Mexico to visit my grandparents with my brother for the summer. My grandma took us to the house she grew up in as a child. It felt like it could collapse at any moment. That night, my grandpa told us the legend of the Chupacabra. He was trying to scare me and he did a pretty good job. Bedtime came, I got ready and I went to sleep. I was sleeping fine until all of a sudden I woke up around 3 a.m. At first everything seemed fine, but soon I started to hear a faint scratching noise outside. I went against my better judgment and I looked out the window. I saw a weird, skinny, hairless creature standing outside. I freaked out. I hid under the blankets. I couldn't sleep all night, but soon the sun began to rise and the noises began to fade. When it was morning, my brother and I went outside. He smelled something horrible. We followed the smell to a dead deer. It had two puncture holes on its stomach. It's the chupacabra, my brother said. We decided to get out of there. We didn't tell our grandparents and we acted like it never happened. The next night, I was again awoken to a scratching sound. I knew it was the chupacabra. I looked out the window, but this time I didn't see anything. I thanked the Lord and went back to bed. The next morning, I went outside to investigate. I saw broken twigs and sticks. Oddly, there weren't any tracks, but I ventured deeper into the woods. I heard leaves moving. I couldn't help but go closer. Finally, I saw what was responsible for the sound. My brother was lying curled up in a ball in nothing but his underwear. He was pale as a ghost. He saw me and lifted up his arm and revealed a huge claw mark. He then turned his head to the side and I saw two bloody holes on his neck. To this day, my brother still won't tell any of us what he saw or what happened to him in those woods. I'm just glad he's alive. Sometimes I still hear the scratching at night like it wants me next. <laughs>